evening, everybody, and welcome to West Laco East. We're really, really excited to be here today to celebrate David and his accomplishment of actually getting signed by a university. That's not a uh, not, that's not something that everybody usually goes through and gets to experience this type of situation, but we're really, really proud of David. We're really, really proud of all his family, but most importantly, the legacy that he's leaving behind. David is uh, one of three brothers that has gone here through West Laco East, one of them being Little Jesse. Where's Little Jesse? It's not Little anymore. That's what Miss Crink calls him, Little Jesse over there. As they, he, uh, and then, of course, Mario, who's currently at uh, uh, West Point, and now David, who's going to Ottawa University, and that's one thing that we are extremely, extremely proud. Congratulations to Coach Trevino, Dr. E.T. Congratulations to David, but congratulations most of all for uh, Ottawa College. We're taking an amazing, and amazing kid who's gonna, I'm pretty sure, make a difference wherever it is that he goes to. We also wanna congratulate our, their teachers. What they're doing is a testament of what their teachers, their counselors, their uh, coaches are doing in the program that they're actually in. So we're very, very proud that he's gonna be representing East in Ottawa and uh, uh, taking a little bit of East over to his uh, new playing ground. So again, David, congratulations. With that in mind, I do wanna introduce some special guests that are here from, that are here from uh, Central Office and I'll start off by introducing our current interim superintendent, Dr. Chris Valdez. I'll also like to introduce our AD, Mr. Freddy Rodriguez. His counselor, Ms. Olga Garza. I'll also like to introduce his parents, his parents, Coach Jesse Trevino. Dr. E.T. Edith Trevino. His grandmother, Edith Espinosa. Again, Jesse Trevino, little Jesse. His little sister, Alina. And who else am I missing? Who else am I missing? Nobody, his coaches. Let's go ahead and give a round of applause to all his coaches here. So coaches, if you guys don't mind, just waving. His trainer, Coach uh, Banuelos also. And of course, the training staff over here with. Now to, I would like to invite over to the podium our superintendent, Dr. Chris Valdez. Good afternoon, everyone. It's an honor and pleasure to be here with David, the Trevino family, and our Wildcat family. This afternoon, uh, this is the best part of my job. This is the best part of my life's work, is to uh, be in front of children and know that Wesico ISD took part in nurturing the gifts and talents that David was born with. David was born to shine. All of us were born to shine. And all of us are given gifts and talents. And it is, it takes family, it takes a school district, it takes caring and dedicated educators to provide wraparound services to lift these children up and nurture the gifts and talents they were born with. And that's what Wesco ISD has done and that's what the Trevino family has done for David. And uh, I wish, I wanna congratulate the Trevinos personally because they're outstanding parents. And, and having David here today is a true testament of the love, support, and encouragement they've given David. So congratulations on behalf of WISD, Mr. and Mrs. Trevino. Um, David, this message is for you. I will never forget when football season was about to launch and I walk into the Wildcat football locker room I walk in, and as I walk in, I see this smiling, happy uh, individual football player sitting in the front row who epitomized leadership. You know, when you walk into a, a room and, and there are people who light it up, that's David. 
So he caught my eye, right? And he was so attentive and so well-mannered. And you know, he's an offensive lineman. He is born to protect. His one duty is to protect the quarterback. His duty is to open up those gaps, provide those gaps and lanes for his running backs. And you have to be smart to be an offensive lineman and tough and have that grit. And so when I walked in and I see this, this young man, right, so well-mannered that I wish all boys and girls were as well-mannered and had that posture and that confidence that David exudes, um, I know that the world will be much better, right, with, with children like him and, and as a young man. And he demonstrated that, that afternoon, and even after that, he demonstrated his good character, his intelligence on and off the field, his, his true grit, watching him on the field as he, as he sprints to the huddle, out of the huddle into position, and uh, sprinting from on the field to on the sideline. Uh, and so, you know, you observe that of David, and, and if you truly watch him, you know, he did his job well. And he had a job to do, which was to protect, provide those lanes and gaps, and, and he did it well. And that's why we're here today, because he's been blessed with that opportunity to do it at the next level. Y'all, it's very, not very many individuals get to do what he's doing the percentage is very low of those who go on to compete at the colleg collegiate level, but he did it. And so we're so proud of him. I can't wait to continue following all of the careers and the, the accomplishments beyond Westlaco ISD, beyond Westlaco, Texas, uh, on what they're gonna do. And so we wish you the best, David. You go on and you, you play to win, you continue protecting that quarterback, you continue opening up those lanes, providing those lanes for backs, and we know that you're gonna do it and do it well and to the best of your ability. So we wish you the best. Uh, always remember, you, 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 yes, you represent the east side, strong side, but you represent Westlaco, Texas, the Rio Grande Valley, and, and Texas. And so I don't want to put too much pressure on you, David, but I know that you, you've got this and, and you have that grit because it comes down to grit. Whoever has the most grit will be the one to succeed. And I know that you have that. So congratulations. We're so proud of you. Words can't express how happy this makes me, the school district and the entire community of Wessico. So congratulations and God bless you. Let me start by, David, this story's for you. All right, I was an hour with a, a young man, uh, not a young man, a guy older than me, a year, just came and visited me. I haven't seen him for 37 years. He was my high school, he's a, a year older than me. We just sat in the office and we talked for an hour. I say this because I look up and see all the seniors up there with you and you don't wait 37 years to come back and visit them and, and say, I missed a guy. So make sure that, you know, those of your teammates are here to support you. They supported for four years that he was here. Keep close contact with them. Bunch of good guys. You know, people said that you always judge on W's and L's. I used to think that when I first coached. After coaching this group, it's no. Yes, we finished five and four. These guys come so far in their athletic career where it was a struggle to win at the junior high, but they came up here and gave us everything. Breaking news. David was probably not born an athlete. The first time I seen him run, I said, oh boy. But I'm going to tell you this right now. When you call him to go somewhere, he'll probably knock somebody down getting there. He made himself into the athlete that you see today. So born, probably not. Made, definitely. Worked hard for everything that he got. That brings me to, I want to thank the Trevinos. Three sons, 
Jesse, Mario, and David came through West Go East, put this school with his teammates, their teammates, down in South Texas as a powerhouse. Mr. and Mrs. Trevino, thank you very much. Mrs. Trevino, thank you more for your athletic ability that you gave your three sons. <laughs> coach Trevino, his dad was an offensive line coach for us for a few years, not long enough, did a phenomenal job. Raised three kids that, you know, me and my wife's got a lot of respect for. Played for us, played hard. I can never thank them enough. So saying that, let's talk about David, where he's going. You guys know where he's going. Yes, he's going to God's country. He's going to a school up in Kansas. You know, hey, that's, come on. Uh, We've had many talks about this. It's a university up there, Ottawa University, founded in 1865, located in that beautiful state of Kansas. I know a lot of people hear war stories about Kansas. It's flat, there's nothing up there. David will come back and tell you the truth. Beautiful country up there. 40 minutes away from my mom and dad's house, which in a few years I'm going to retire and probably move in there. So I hope David don't feel like a stranger, come on over and visit. About David, he plans to major in history. He is inspired by all of his coaches here at West Coast East and wishes to become a football coach to help make kids the best they can be. If they have David's attitude and hustle like David, they're going to be great. And David's going to do a great job as a coach. David competed in football, which he earned all district and all state honors. He competed in track and field, regional qualifier, and in wrestling, he was a regional qualifier an athlete, more than a one sport athlete, which we love to hear at West Coast East. That is part of the reason, because he's a multi-sport athlete, is the reason that the college is looking at him. Offensive line, maybe not. Defensive end, maybe. It depends wherever they want to put him. David's a team player. Doesn't matter if it's tight end, tackle, guard, center, defense, he's gonna do what the coach tells him. And the most important thing is he's gonna get that degree and move on and be very successful at what he does. So David, from my coaching staff, not just football, from the coaching staff uh, at West Coast East, from our principal Gamboa, to our superintendent, to the AD, Mr. Rodriguez, we wish you the best of luck. Continue to make your name proud, Trevino, and we wanna wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. At this time, I will call up Let's call up Miss Trevino first to say a few words. I usually love to speak in front of people, but today um, my friend Nelly knows that out of all my kids, David and me have always been just, my kids say he's my favorite, but he's not. But. It's really going to be hard for me to let him go just because he's a, he's, we've been through a lot together and he's very resilient and um, has the biggest heart and the biggest passion. And, um, you know, I even told him, David, go to school here, you know, and I'll be your college professor. And he's like, no. Um, pero échale ganas, baby. Just be proud of your culture. Be proud of your language. Go over there and represent um, the 956 with all your heart and um, show them what Texas is all about. Te quiero mucho. I, I, I appreciate everybody being here today. Um, obviously, this is a, a very joyful event or moment for us. Um, this is, uh, you know, I want to co congratulate or, or say thank you to all the coaches. You know, this is, uh, and all the athletes sitting here, you know, David has a, a uh, strong legacy to take to, uh, to Kansas, and that's why they recruited him, uh, you know, because Texas knows how to play football, and that's what they're expecting, uh, to get a good, fine young man that can go up there and represent Texas and represent Wessico ISD, 
and represent Wessego East. You know, we, we spent a lot of good years here, and David did an excellent job for us. And I just want to thank the coaching staff for, for, you know, being persistent and never letting you guys take shortcuts. And, that, and you know, I, you guys are all here, and that, I think that's one of the biggest things to make sure you always keep in mind. It's never easy or everybody would be going to college and play football. It's something that, that uh, and you, you know, you're lucky to have a lot of ex-college players here at Westlake uh, East. So pick their brains, ask them. You know, a lot of you guys are going to get that opportunity here coming soon, and you need to take advantage of it. There's a lot of, um, there's, there's a school out there for everybody. As long as you want to give it your all and play, there's a school out there for everybody. Yeah, always keep that in mind. The hardest thing for, for us Valley kids or the Valley kids to do or, or is take a, go off away from home. You know, I, I think uh, a lot of kids find a lot of, uh, it's very difficult for them to do sometimes because you got your families pulling them in, pulling you in, and hey, stay home. Hijo. I'm the opposite. Get the heck away from here. Hey, get your butt out of here. Go as far as you can. Go do what you, go start your life because that's what he's going to, he's fixing to start to do. And, you know, it's all going to build off of what you did in high school and you, you start on a clean slate. And, uh, you know, it's going to, everything's going to be very important what you do from, from this time he steps onto that campus. And the most important thing is he needs to keep in mind that he's representing us here. Again, WISD, Wessego East, and especially the Trevino name. So appreciate everybody being here. Thank you very much for the support. I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, I've, I've been in the Valley 31 years and, you know, I, I've been at three different high schools and at West Coast it's sort of special. I think the teachers and the counselors, I think our administration work real hard to help the kids be successful. And, you know, I'm, I'm really proud to say that, you know, I'm not from Texas, I'm not from Westaco. I really enjoy coming to West Coast and working with the boys and girls here at this school. It's something special. And, you know, I hope everyone realizes that. Uh, in his spare time, David loves the outdoors. He likes to run and exercise. He also enjoys fishing and hunting whenever he can get out there. David, why don't you come up and say a few words? I want to start off by saying thank you to everyone for coming here and supporting me in my signing. And then I want to thank all the coaches for everything they did for me, especially Coach Brigade. You know, he coached my brothers and then he coached me, expecting me just to be just as great as they were, you know. And I want to thank Coach Cortez. He came in here this year, but he was always on my case, always on me to, like, you know, be one of the leaders on the team along with Coach Cortez. Uh, I mean, Coach Gasa, sorry. And Coach Gasa, he was always on me. He helped me out in the summer a little bit. Um, he is my goddad, so you know, he helped me out as much as he could. And then Coach Evans, my other goddad, you know, he he always tried to get me on defense, and I always tried talking myself into or talking my way into getting on defense. And luckily, I did my last game, and I'm going to go play defensive end. So I need to give a big thank you to that to Coach Evans and Coach uh, Coach Ellis too. Thank you guys. And I want to thank my my parents, you know. My dad, he always supported me in anything I did. He told me that I didn't have to do football, but I knew I, I had to. I loved it too much. And then my brother, my brother Jesse, he's here. I need to give him big thanks because he was always on my case in middle school, always taking me to summer workouts, even whenever I didn't want to go. So I got to give him a big thank you to that. He's awesome. And then I don't think the. Oh, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to thank um, all of the football players that are here right now. You know, this year wasn't what it should have been, but 
everyone stuck with it, everyone stayed with it, gave it their all, and I'm very grateful for that, to have a team with all the guys like that. Thank you, guys. And Coach Owens, thank you <laughs> for track. You know, you always got me into track, got me doing it, always kept up with me. It was awesome. And thank you, thank you, everyone, for coming. That's it, thank you. I guess one thing the Trevinos can always talk about, and I'm, I'm hoping I'm not wrong on this, David, is all three Trevino sons played in the third round. Good, good. I, I took a stab there. Uh, I can remember Jesse third round playing Del Rio, scoring a touchdown. I remember because his dad was a coach running down the sideline, tears rolling out. I don't want to say that. He's a grown man. <laughs> Proud dad. Mario in the third round, kicking butt, and, you know, I could picture him being on the sideline with his sons there, and all three, like I said, came to West Coast with something special here. Uh, you know, they'll always be remembered, and again, from the school at West Coast, from WISD, and from all of us, thank you, Trevino's.